Welcome to Institute of Quality and Reliability. Hi, this is Heyman. Maintainability and Availability In this video, we will discuss the concepts of maintainability and availability along with some related mathematics. We will explain the maintainability function with an application example. We will also explain how to set target for mean time to repair or MTTR for a given value of mean time between failures MTBF when availability of the system is specified by the customer. Maintainability is probability that a failed system will be repaired within a given time once it has failed when maintenance is actually performed by qualified personnel using specified procedure and resources. Maintainability function at time t can be denoted as m of t. If we say that there is 98% probability that a vehicle is repaired within 8 hours, we can say that m that is maintainability function at 8 hours equals 0.98. Let us understand more about maintainability function. If repair rate is r per unit time, mean time to repair will be 1 upon r that is reciprocal of r. Maintainability function m of t is the probability of repairing within time t. When t is exponentially distributed, m of t will be given by 1 minus e raised to minus r of t or we can also write it as 1 minus e to the power minus t upon mttr. Observe that this is similar to the cumulative failure function capital F of t. Maintenance time data often follow log normal distribution. This can be somewhat expected as some equipment are repaired quickly while as a small percent of equipment takes much longer time. We have discussed log normal distribution in one of our previous videos. Let us see a simple application example. Data of repair time for a fleet of tractors is known to follow log normal distribution with log mean of 3.6483 and log standard deviation of 0.9661. What is the time by which 90% repairs will be completed? From our previous video on normal distribution, remember that any value on x-axis of normal distribution can be transformed to corresponding standard normal value z. The z score can then be calculated as z is equal to x minus mu upon sigma. This is shown in the figure here. For a log normal distribution, we need to use ln of x instead of x so that the z score can be calculated as ln of x minus mu dash upon sigma dash. Remember, mu dash and sigma dash are log mean and log standard deviation respectively of log normal distribution. In this example, log mean mu dash is given as 3.6483 and log standard deviation sigma dash is given as 0.9661. Therefore, we can write z is equal to ln of time t by which 90% repairs will be done minus 3.6483 upon 0.9661. We need to determine value of z using inverse normal function corresponding to 90% repairs. So we can do this using table of standard normal distribution. So we need to find out the value of z corresponding to which area to the right will be 0.1 and area to the left is 0.9 as shown in the figure. Let us assume that 90% repairs or 0.9 proportion will be repaired within time t. Therefore, 10% or 0.1 proportion will not be repaired within time t. We can now use table of standard normal distribution because it is given that a data is log normally distributed. Observe that z score corresponding to 0.1 
on the right side is 1.28. We have seen that the inverse standard normal function corresponding to 90% repairs is 1.28. Therefore, we can equate this 1.28 as ln of t minus mu dash upon sigma dash and therefore that equals ln of time minus 3.6483 which is the log mean divided by sigma dash 0.9661 which is the log standard deviation. Solving this, we get ln of t equals 3.6483 plus 1.236 that is 4.8843 but remember this is logarithm therefore to find t we have to raise e to the power 4.8843 which gives us 132 minutes thus 90 percent repairs will be completed within 132 minutes Maintainability can be measured with mean time to repair or MTTR. MTTR is average repair time and is given by total maintenance downtime divided by total number of maintenance actions. In reality, maintenance actions can be preventive or can be corrective. Corrective maintenance actions can be referred as breakdown actions as well. Corrective maintenance actions can typically include diagnostic time, part procurement time, teardown time, reassemble or rebuild time and verification time. Preventive actions and MTBMA Preventive maintenance actions are often taken to minimize failures. It is customary to take preventive actions when the system is not in use, such as on holidays. However, this is not possible for systems with continuous processes such as cement plants. A major mean time between maintenance actions, MTBMA, includes preventive maintenance as well as corrective maintenance actions. Another commonly used term is availability. Availability can be considered as fraction of time that the system is actually usable. Inherent or steady state availability AI is defined as mean time between failures divided by mean time between failure plus MTTR. Let us see a simple application example. A fleet of vehicles has mean time between failures MTBF of 58 hours. The mean time to repair MTTR is 3.5 hours. What is the inherent availability? We can easily calculate this by the formula MTBF upon MTBF plus MTTR which can be calculated as 94.3%. Sometimes customers specify targets for availability. In such cases, the target for MTTR can be calculated for MTBF values. We have seen that the inherent availability AI is given by MTBF upon MTBF plus MTTR. We can simplify this. So AI into MTBF plus MTTR is equal to MTBF. We can further simplify and note that MTTR will be equal to 1 minus AI upon AI into MTBF. This is equation of a line passing through origin with slope 1 minus AI upon AI. In this graph, MTBF is on the x-axis and MTTR is on the y-axis. This particular graph shows target MTTR for a given availability of 98% for MTBF values from 100 to 250. Note that when MTBF is low, MTTR must be low to achieve desired availability. A more general formula for availability can be given as average uptime upon average uptime plus average downtime. Service interval is the recommended time 
between routine preventive checks and replacements such as lubrication, change of filter, interchanging tire positions of an automobile, clutch adjustments, tappet settings, etc. Let us do a quick recap. In this video, we have discussed the concepts of maintainability and availability along with related mathematics. We have seen the maintainability function MT with an application example of log normal distribution. We have also seen the concept of availability trade-off and how to set target for MTTR for a given value of MTBF when availability is specified by the customer. Thanks for watching this video. Hope you found it worth watching. Please subscribe to Institute of Quality and Reliability channel if you want to watch more videos on Reliability Engineering, Six Sigma and Quality Engineering.